Hello fishing fans, Nick Lambert here from Nick Lambert Fishing on Instagram and also Fishing with Grant and also 153 Baits. Today we're going to be talking about one of the coolest baits and cheapest baits that you can buy and it works to catch a fish. Will it catch the biggest fish? Maybe not, but it will catch a fish and you need to know what it is. It is the Rebel Minnow. Now I bought this and I left the price tag on it, bought it from Walmart. Uh, so you can see how much it costs. 80 cents. 80 cents. And I'm going to read it to you for a rip open a package. Fishing tip. The most valuable tip you can remember is to be patient. When your lure hits the water, allow it to rest a few seconds before beginning your retrieve. First begin with a steady retrieve. If that does not produce a strike, then try a stop and go retrieve. Pausing frequently every few cranks. The strike usually comes when you resume your retrieve. Be ready. Um... So what I do is, uh, right, this is the, the perfect spring um, fishing lure. What I do is, I will just, just like that said, I do a retrieve and then um, if that doesn't work and then I work it like a jerk bait uh, instead of the retrieve, pause, retrieve, pause. And it works great for crappie, what the heck, man? Works great for crappie uh small mouth and also rock bass and i'll show you why because look how little these hooks are so these hooks are absolutely tiny it has a little red throat there uh, this one has a silver with a black back but it's extremely light now take this to a creek or a channel in a river or even a uh a pond where there's no moss and give it a try 80 cents and i like this one it has the red eyes too uh 80 cents and you will not be let down and it'll be the best 80 cents you ever spent like i said i don't think this is going to catch huge fish because i've never caught a big fish on this uh but maybe like 15 inches or so um that being said let's go outside So we are just in my pond. Um, we're gonna throw this uh, little rebel minnow out. Um, and I have this paired with my uh, ducket fishing Silverado and a quantum smoke a spinning combo. My pond has a lot of moss on it right now. So we're gonna figure out where the best place to drop this in and pull it through. Oh, got one. Look at that. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Little bass. He was hungry. Went after that one. Wasn't expecting it. Like the direction said. These hooks are so tiny. There we go. Little bass. Very cool. All right, now let's get into the review portion. Uh, but before we get into that, I want you guys to check out fishingwithgrant.com. He sells apparel. He does a fishing charter in Ohio. He's also a fishing instructor. And I am on the team, which we call the A team, of course, right? And also, 153 Baits. Um, I have a code here for 10% off for you. I'll also put it in the comments, but 153 baits, it's the 153 anglers.com. 153 baits. Check them out. All right. So the review, um, I have fished this before. Like I said, I usually buy a few every year. I give them out to people so that they can do their own little review videos on them. I love them because rock bass are a ton of fun to catch uh, with these on any river uh, that I've ever been on. Um, so 
There are some negatives to this though. It does get uh, um, basically caught on everything. So rocks, uh, sticks, logs, everything like that. But the cool thing about this is these real little light wire hooks is you bend it off and then you just bend it back with your fingers. Um, and then the, the hook is good after that. Uh, this one I had just on a quick snap real quick and that made it basically nose dive. Um, but uh, yeah, I just didn't even have to move on to the twitching part, the slow retrieve. Got that little bass, that's in my pond in the backyard. I just put pond dye in it because of all the moss, but um, yep, these little these little minnows, they actually have a few different ones, Rebel does. They have a, a little bit bigger one than this. This is about, if I had to guess, um, if I had to measure, I would say that's an inch long, okay? And then these hooks are very, very little, like I said. So, but big enough to uh, catch that little, you know, 10 inch bass or so, uh, 10 plus inch bass. So there you go. Um, the only drawbacks I would have of this size is that if you do get a big one, let's say five pounds on there, I think even he would bend these hooks um, unless you got them on both trebles. Uh, so. There's that, you may may miss some, but like I said, for you know creek fishing or uh, river fishing, that's where I would use this uh, the best. That's where I would use this. I only used it in the backyard to show you guys the action of it, one for one, and uh, that it can catch a fish, which it did. So good job, Rebel Minnow. So like I said, 80 cents Walmart, um, I would buy a few a year. I've given them to friends to uh, that they have uh, YouTube videos so that way they can um, They do get scratched up very fast uh, And they'll lose their eyeballs too. I have one uh, I think I actually lost it last year, but um, he had one eyeball and um, that was my lucky one and It lasted for four or five years, but uh, there you go review uh out of 10 10 being the greatest little lure out there okay and one being the okayest little lure out there uh i would give this a six because i do think it is the coolest little thing it does have um a little bb in it probably just one or two little tiny bbs in it which does make a little bit of noise I don't know if they need that or not, but um, it seems to work out. So there you go. Uh, check out those two websites. They'll be in the link. And, uh, you know, have a great day. And God bless.